Good afternoon guys. Hello from Kyrgyzstan. It's Davuda Kunzada here and another amazing adventure from Kyrgyzstan. At the moment I'm in the village called Tortogul and it's also the same name as there's a big lake next to this village. So the village name and the lake name is the same. And I've been arrived here like uh, one hour ago and decided to get some dinner slash lunch uh, because it's around uh, 5 6 p.m. and I arrived to this beautiful park which forest looks amazing very green lots of trees and this is actually part of the park so there are a few amusement things there's this broken building from probably Soviet Union <laughs> And there is also a big stadium on the left side, which I will show you in a while. So, I booked only one night to stay in this town. It's a very small village, uh, but the main objective for me to be here is to walk around uh, the Tortugul Lake, uh, which I passed by on the way to here, which seems amazing, very blue water. So that's the first objective for me here, but then later next I will move to the Bishkek and then it's a cool lake. This is the nice park, lots of kids. It's also beautiful weather and looks a little bit of a time traveling because all this stuff it seems very Soviet style including the stadium which I will show you in a second this is the stadium next to the park and also it has a nice view to the mountains the kids are playing there And also birds are screaming just before the sunset and for the sunset actually I'm planning to go to the lakeside to show you hopefully there will be nice view when the Sun will be setting and being by the lake not sure what type of experience it will be but we will see Zdrasti! Salam Aleikum! Salam Aleikum! Hello! Zdrasti! <laughs> Obviously, I get lots of attention here because of my hair, my beard, my eye colors, so also that type of clothes I am wearing. So even from 200-300 meters, I get some type of attention, <laughs> which is not bad. I'm not complaining about it. This is the amusement part of the park which looks very nice and very colorful at the same time but definitely these type of things are quite old I believe probably from the Soviet Union but at least it's good to see people having fun with their kids and some more stuff there. Oh, it look it works actually with the ventilation. Look at this. There's a ventilation on the top, like two of them, and that's what helps to spin the thing. Or maybe to stop it as well. Interesting. Okay. Let's head outside of the park, which I wanted to show you as well. There's a big square. There's a little place to have an ice cream or some sweets with the tea.
Also small vendors if you want to get the quick snacks. Again, very nice view to the mountains. There's actually, if you can see, there's a snow on the top of the, the mountains in distance. And this is what I wanted to show you. It's called Tuboluk Dunk. Right now kids are playing on top of the, the monument. As you can see, it's a memory for the 1941-1945 Second World War. Pretty cool. And I think these are the names of the people who died during the war from Kyrgyzstan. And this is the Neza monument here. In Russian, it says Tuboluk Dank. I mean, it's in Kyrillic letters, but maybe it's in Kyrgyz language. And this is around three meters tall. It says Accessory Pobeda, USSR. Pretty cool. Very small village, and people are living in their small life, which is amazing. And this is the park which I showed you. Entrance to the park. S. Alu Park. S. Alu Park. Not sure what does it mean. And on the opposite side, here there is actually bazaar, which I was exploring as well. But seems like they are closing quite early. Right now it's 6 7 pm, and I saw people collecting their stuff from outside and closing the bazaar. Maybe it's a normal time here to close the bazaar or maybe there's a different occasion today that's the reason not sure and this is the Anaza Square actually not too far from the park with the Kyrgyz flag in the distance you can see behind the trees you will get there and show you around as well So far, my experience in Kyrgyzstan is very nice. I like this country mostly because of the nature. It keeps surprising me every time. It's just beautiful with the mountains, snow on the top. Sometimes you have green hills, amazing rivers. Yesterday or two days ago, I actually did a horse riding in the mountains as well for the first time and for the nine hours so it was quite tough but very unique and very nice experience this is the square i was talking about with the flag and there used to be or i mean there is a fountain but there is no water and on the other side, there is this monument for this gentleman, Toktokul Satelkanov. So it seems like the village name and the lake name comes from Toktokul's name. And there is a Mr. Homeless Man sleeping in this beautiful park. Beautiful, amazing. And people also are very curious uh, what I'm doing with this small camera pointing out to myself or to them, shooting around and talking to myself at the same time. So it's quite interesting. People are interested what I'm doing and that's why 
to break the ice I always say salam alaikum which is hello in in the local language or in Islamic way longer version salam alaikum so it helps to break the ice they're not just staring at you at least saying hi back and talking to you so which is very nice and here's the beautiful Kyrgyz flag amazing so i will try to find a place to have a lunch slash dinner and then later i will take you definitely to the lake for the sunset which i am hoping gonna be a very nice experience so hold on with me guys and see you in a while